But, ladies and gentle people, welcome to round number 13. Can you believe it? We're at round 13 of season 2, and we're here at the Hungry Circuit at, at, at Hungary, and that tape made no sense whatsoever. No, no, and no. I am joined, <laughs> and I'm joined by my fellow co co commentator, Mr. Viasa himself, ladies and gentlemen. Viasa. Roscoe Arm. Ross, welcome. Yes, a little bit fluffed up in your lines there. I think you meant to say we're at the Hungara ring in the Hungarian Grand Prix. I'll fix you up there a little bit there. So, um, yes, it, uh, yeah, like you said, it is hard to believe it's round number 13. We've got this round and then Belgium next round before, uh, next week before we have a week break, which probably will be needed for both of us because um, we've been fully entertained this whole season and... Um, well, Hungary, I dare say, will have its fair share of entertainment, to say the least. And uh, I don't think it's, it's not a full lobby. It's, what have we got, 17, 18 drivers or something tonight with us? We got, we got 17 RBRs in the chat. We got 17, potentially two more on the way. So we could have a grid of 19 okay. here tonight. Uh, just let me know if the audio is okay. And, did get a bit louder for me, but hopefully it's coming through okay. And get your clouds out here, ladies and gentlemen. It is overcast. Mm -hmm. Might see some potential weather. Um, Mitchy on medium, so that says he's... Um, and same with Jamie's on mediums as well. That says maybe no rain at all. Just might be just overcast. Savory Mince Pie has joined. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, he can get into his Red Bull car. So, while we wait for drivers to do their um, outlaps and laps, I have the championship standings. We have New Zealand Ryan in first place on 248 points. And you know what? Matt hasn't done the standings. I thought he hadn't. I did ask him pre race like whether he'd done the standings. Last week, I'd see, see plenty of DNSs, but um, no race results. So, um, let's just say, Matt, can we can we just, just say, um, we don't know. I think Ryan still leads by a fair margin. So, uh, oh, Matt, Matt, we got to be perfect. We're trying to be professional here. This is a professional and... outfit that we're supposed to be running here, and that's letting us down here, Matt. Oh. Everyone, stop the hashtag movement, blame Matt. Yep. That's oh. it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ryan won last week. After it was a very, very entertaining race at yes. Britain, and oh, chaos, safety cars, a worldy start from Mr. Warden 99, who is back in the Renault here tonight. So, yes. might see if he can replicate what he did last week. I tell you what, as Savory's into his Red Bull car, so we've got a grid of 18 here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're just missing a Ferrari and a Haas, but that is okay. Um, oh, Ambrose has gone off at turn, I think that's turn 5 or 6. The corner of death. The corner of Pretty death. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be touching that. Yeah, no, it's all good, but oh, thanks, my dude. And RBI goes, oh my god, Matt, could have been racing, but you know, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's Mitchie's going purple mediums, but I think Ed's is just doing his lean nun lap around you. So, because there's no championship standings, because Matt's forgot him, um, Ross, let's talk about this track. Mm-hmm. Um, how much do you hate it on a scale of one to very much so? Um, I mean, in the past, I've hated it, to say the least, and uh, I reflect on a league race way back when, I think it was an F1 2017, when it was just complete utter SHIT house. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not a great not a great fan of this track. Although, saying that, in another league, I did an actually decent job. So, um, I mean... I mean, a few of these drivers, they, pro they preferably do not like this track, as we're seeing already numbers heading already. So, um, this should be entertaining, especially with 18 drivers around here. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, 18 drivers around this track, it's going to be absolute chaos. Expect a safety car. Oxygen Thief goes in the P2 with a 16-0. Mechi, P3 with a 16-7, but he goes so far at wide, it's not invalidated. No, it's not. But I'm assuming he's just going to come into the pit lane anyway. Dill's on top of a 15-2, and Edge is last with an 18-0. Going purple in the middle sector, but I'm assuming he's just going to come in. He's not. Actually, no. Sticking it out there as we speak. As Ambrose just broke at the lines 19-9, so I'm assuming he's just going to pop in into the mediums, which is probably the tyre you want to start on. Um. Ferrari or Carver, oh, it's coming around the final point, but he's invalidated. We have a Williams. Pretty sure that's Matt. Coming around the final corner, opens up DRS. And goes to P5 with an 18 2. Pretty much a slunky slap there. Formula goes to the top with a 15 2 on mediums, and we're probably going to be expecting times in the 14s. Probably the low, uh, low, uh, high 13s, I should say. Yeah. Is, is that probably where we're going to see things as Edge goes P6, Brazuca's P5? Um, yeah, sorry to cut you off there, Russ, but are no, we no. expecting, are we expecting cars in the, in the low 14s, high, uh, high 13s for pole position? Uh, if, you, if, you, if you said to me, like, was for the soft ties, then I guess I'd say maybe 13's a boss, or if, I mean, if the majority of these guys doing, uh, uh, so, uh, say majority, if some of these guys start on the media cop at a of course, I don't think we uh, know what the weather conditions are for the race, so we might be completely blindsided by it, but if you assume a lot of these guys would do mediums, I'd say 14 would be probably, well, I'd be, I'd be shocked if someone does a 13 on a medium, but I mean, I think the 14 is probably looking Oh my god, more Matt! Safe, Matt's <laughs> apparently DNF'd. What the hell is that? Oh my, oh my god, he just crashed into into the pit lane and... Oh my god. <laughs> that oh, was... Oh, there it is. That, that was something to behold there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad I caught that on stream. <laughs> That's going to be clipped for the RRO Twitter account. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't followed us on Twitter, please do so. You'll see when we go live, what what leagues we're running. So do please follow us on Twitter. You'll see clips, probably just like what Matt just did, as Broken Reptile has left the session. So hopefully he can get an invite back in. I do have him as a friend, but we're in qualifying at the moment. Don't want to miss too I many. His Calvo's had a crash. As Richie's on an, an outlap, ja uh, Red just doing laps at the moment. Dill. Oh, Savory's up in the top two, by the way. I completely missed that. A 15 yes. 0. He's just, like, literally come into the race about 10 minutes ago. As Reptile has joined in, so fantastic stuff to see. We still have our grid of 18. Jamie JW20 goes to the top of a 14-8. Well, there's the first man into the 14 team, ladies and gentlemen. There's Formers out there on softs right now. Yep. Oxygen, Oxygen Thief is coming out there on mediums. Mitch is invalidated. Savory doing, I think he improved. I think he stayed where no. he was. It's five seconds off his best time. Yeah, no. We got RBR saying the 14th one is what PB on mediums bets on who will beat that. So, well, RBR's done the 14th one on medium, so. Okay. That's probably going to be what I would assume Ryan might do. Savory going quicker. Purple first sector, but. I don't know. As Jared said, that's set a time with a 23-1, but he can go a lot quicker than that. He needs... Uh, I'm assuming... I'm thinking with 
What have we got? About eight rounds left. Ryan's Still probably got about a. Ryan's got about a nearly a hundred point gap. Would you say this is la last chance salon for DRC Jared in terms of the championship? Yeah, it's. Yeah, I mean, probably more than likely, though. Saying that, there's probably a few tracks that might favour Jared a little bit. Saying that, I think Singapore is definitely a Ryan track for sure, but um, might be a few tracks that might be close battles. Don't count out Oz Wombat as well. I yeah, know oh he's not really in which to if I join. Uh, I can't remember how long he joined. Oh, it's which Randy joined, I should say, but um, if he does, if he's got to score a decent amount of points just to keep in touch with Ryan, I think, in the championship, but uh, both the Red Bulls looking pretty decent at the moment. Yeah, I, yeah, it's, I, I think this is probably going to be last chance so long for DRC Jared. He's about a hundred points behind with a, with eight rounds to go. So that's four race wins. If he wants any chance, he needs to win these last eight races. I mean, he's pretty much got second down because Death Row hasn't shown up. The past few weeks, or probably last month, I should say. Yeah, well, but yeah, at least that. He's used a couple of rounds plus he's DF out of a few races as well. Yeah, it's Ryan's coming out there on soft, so Ryan not doing the mediums at all. We got Hugo in 14th, still in the pit, still hasn't set the lap time. So the running order right now, we've got Dill on provisional pole with a 14-6. His teammate is in P2 with a 14-7. Then we've got Jamie with a 14-8. So a couple of tenths separating the top three. Then we've got Oz Formula in P4. Oxygen Feed is in P5. Mitch is in P6. Bazooka P7. DTP8. Edge is in 9th. Matt is in 10th in DNS. So he will not be improving at all. We've got Ambrose in P11 and DRC Jared in P12 and the last of the time runners and we've got Reptile, Hugo, Calvo, Warden, Poms win A70 and New Zealand Ryan who have not set a lap time yet but I think Reptile, not Warden, Warden would have done 23.5 he would have been 13th anyway uh, we've got as Reptile has left the session once again DT no so the next person to set a lap time is actually New Zealand Iron. He had a massive moment coming out of turn nine, I think it was. He just lost the back end, nearly binded it to the wall, but uh, he'll complete the lap. It's not going to be quick. Maybe it was going to be 16s. 16-2. That two, about two seconds off at uh, yeah, two seconds off at the moment, but he can definitely go a lot quicker than that. Yeah. Edge is out there on the mediums. It's not looking a very, very pacey lap. I think he might have made a mistake or something. I'm not exactly sure what he was doing. And a lot of people are invalidating, so we don't exactly know <coughs> Who is out there on the lap at the moment? I guess DT was Jamie going to be the first one. Nah, it'd be DT 361X MP9 currently, and he's just invalidated coming through this middle section. But we'll stay on. Uh, I think yeah, he's going to board this and come into the pit lane. Upstairs, one, two, three, two, one, become famous by followers, primes, and viewers on bigfollows.com. Well, no, thank you. <laughs> nice. We we don't want that here at RRL. <laughs> but DT going out on the, on the same set of tyres once again. He's got just under five minutes. This is going to be interesting. Is Poms has retired from the session and not set a lap time. Started Poms? from the back. Mm. It is a play, but is it going to be the right play? We'll find out in the race. Depends on what tyres you'll start on, but. Uh... Yeah, 
Um, I think Dill is on unlap. Yes, he is. Ryan's still in P6, but I'm assuming he's just going to come in anyway. Put on another set of tyres and go to the end. As Dill's gone quicker, 1700s up. So we might see a 14 5 here potentially if Dill can get this last corner right. It's on track, run out of ERS. He's out of ERS. It's a 14 5 4 6. What a lap from X Dill 419 XDT. It's a 14 9. But three and a half minutes to go. I don't think he. Uh, you might just have enough time to get back in, put another set of soft soldering, and go again, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Might uh, be touching. No, you have to get in quickly. 15 2 for Oxygen Thief. Goes up into P6. Actually, he might have just stayed in P6. Yeah, I don't think he moved. I think he just improved his time. Alright Ross, so three minutes remaining. The prediction game as per usual we do here on the Monday night. Mm -hmm. Who is your man for pole position here tonight? Currently it's occupied by X still forward on X. But will he stay there or will someone knock him off his perch? With Red Bull looking very, very strong here tonight. Yes, very strong indeed. Um one of the quick guys, I'd probably say Zilla Ryan, he'd be probably up there, and maybe Jared and yeah, Hugo, not sure, because he's on the medium, so not an outlap at the moment, so yeah, soft compound tyre runner is looking pretty decent. Don't know if Dill will have enough time, he'll be touching, uh, probably uh, touch and go. I'm gonna go at the limit, say, so everybody's in five position. Uh, so, for the people that missed that, Ross goes going for Savory Mitz Pie for pole position here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Mitchie goes up to P5. Mi uh, Savory did invalidate, so he would have done a 14 7, but he would have just done the exact same time. <laughs> um, for me, pole position, Ryan's out there on. Going out the mediums, so it's going to be a soft runner that's going to nab it. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, X still will hold on. X still is coming out, so he does have enough time. He's got a minute 20 to go around the track, and I think that's more than enough time. Push it up, push it up, eight. Oxygen V doing some more laps on those soft tyres and. Uh, that's not really what you want to be doing. No, not around here. On on, on this track. Yeah, we, we a lot of people are coming out of mediums. Formula's doing mediums. Ryan's on mediums. Bazooka on mediums. Ambrose is on mediums. Jared's on mediums. Hugo's on mediums. And Warden is out on mediums. Hugo has invalidated, but luckily he's towards the back end of the track. And he can, he's got enough time to do another lap. So he is very, very lucky. Savory to the top. Oh, okay. So, yep, Savory is out um, to the top. So I'm just looking at the chat. Reptile needs an invite. <sighs> I can't really look at it at do it at the moment. Hang on, Hopefully, someone mind. else. We've got you covered. So, anyway. Reptile. Reptile, there's your invite. Hopefully, you can get back in. As Savory has retired. He's grabbed out. I don't know why. <laughs> so, Dill is doing his lap time right now. Jamie is going quick. A seven tenths up at the moment. Let's form it at the third. Form Formless to third, there was a Ferrari Calvo, he must have been validated. So qualifying's now over here, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie JW21 opens up DRS. A 14-0-0-1. Jeez. A, su a surprise. A Jared up to the top of a 13-9. Reptile has joined in, hopefully. 
get into his car. Ambrose is coming in. Hugo. What can Hugo do? I think the last car across the line will be X Steel 419X. Don't be fair. Hugo goes up into P5. Ryan's up into P3. Bazooka uh, edges up into P10. Oh, D. Warden's up into P6. X Steel is invalidated. Oh, that is such a shame. He would have done a 14-4. He would have stayed P5 stayed anyway. Wow. Jared, from out of nowhere, comes out and does a 13-9-3-9 on medium and gets pole position. Jamie thought he might have had pole position, but no. Then Ryan is in P2. My God, we're gonna be we're in for an exciting race. The top three separating by less than a tenth. Yep. Oh, we're just waiting on Bazooka to retire. As we hit double digits once again, welcome everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic Monday evening. Hopefully you're in. You're in the mood for some epic racing. Just look at that. The top three separating by nothing. We've got DRC Jared gets pole position. Jamie in P2. A fantastic result for Jamie. These other Ryan's in P3. Sabre in P4. Uh, Xtil P5. Warden's P6. Hugo 7th. Formula is in 8th. DTP 9 and Mitchy in P10. And outside the top 10, we've got Edge, Brazooka, Oxygen Thief 23. Matt and Ambrose and the non-timers. We've got Broken Reptile, Cabot Oz and Poms for the win a 70. With Ambrose getting the Drunk Driver Award here tonight with a whopping six seconds yeah. behind our pole sitter. would be happy with that one. Wow. 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 What? What a surprise from DRC. Jared, we, we both picked the Red Bulls because we thought they were looking strong. But yeah. from... Out of nowhere, the lap of the gods, DRC Jared from out of nowhere, and sunshine is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. There's no dark clouds to be seen, but that's not to say we might not get any weather throughout, towards the end of this race, I should say. Yes. All right, Ross. Well, we got one person into the chat saying poems for the surprise podium here. Well, a certainly, possi a certainly possibility. Mm. Ross, prediction for the race. Who is your race winner and surprise podium? Okay. Well, I think race winner is probably going to be given on the medium compound of tyres. So, I think it's going to be a tight battle, I reckon. But I reckon it might be DRC Jarrett's night for, uh, to take the win. Surprise podium. This one's a real, real tricky one here. I'll have to check to see who's on what compounds. Let's have a look. Okay, so... A bit of a mixture. You can see Palms on the hard compound tyre, so, I mean... He's in with a shot, potentially. If he gets on quicker rubber later. Uh, a surprise podium... Well, I can tell you one person who might be on the podium here tonight. The man of P11, what is he doing? Like, yeah, seriously, what what is he doing? I, I, You're in P11, free choice of tyres, and you choose that tyre. I, I don't Are know. Are you kidding? What Edge is thinking there at the moment. In no particular pit stop strategy, come off saying mediums to hards. He's not even on the damn thing, as both the Red Bull get themselves disqualified. Typical, as always. Uh, we've brought, okay, we've pulled out edge. Okay, let's go SBR Ambrose, just for something unusual. So the Poms may be up there, that's just, if so, maybe safety cars potentially could help him out there, but I think, so Jared for victory and Ambrose for the surprise podium. What about you, Fry? Well, we've got someone in the chat. ZZ Bra goes Oxygen Thief for the win. Well, where is he at the? He's in P13. 15. Well, that'll be that'll be speed if he wins from P13. But on the mediums, on the correct tire, unlike the men in P11. Yeah. Um, that is a very good shout, Oxygen Thief. Ooh, 
we'll wait and see. Uh, for race winner, though, I'm going to say DRC Jared. He, he, I think he threw away a win last week when he didn't pit under yeah. the safety car. Um, but hopefully this will be his redemption here tonight. And surprise podium. Who is a surprise podium? Um, you know what? I'm going to say... I'm going to say, is that Matt 039 a surprise podium here tonight? Right. As we get ready for five red lights. We go one, two, three, four, five lights. And it's lights out and away we go. J uh, the timing glitch is happening already. Jared gets off to a good start. So there's New Zealand Ryan where he gets sent it down the inside. Jamie's holding on. Oh, don't make contact. Thank God for the ghosting system. Jamie, New Zealand Ryan. Jamie looking for the move on the inside. No, Station is holding. Oh, ghosting is happening. In fact, Sector 1, I think that might have been the two Afetaris coming together. But here comes New Zealand Ryan. Looking for a move. No, he's just going to hold back. As I think the timings is now sorted itself out. All right, so as the times have been updated, Warden's up in the P4, Hugo's up in the P5, Formula's in the six, Mitch is in the seven, Oxygen Thief, ladies and gentlemen, is in the P8, up five positions. Dill is in P9, Matt's in P10, and Savory's outside the point. So he got a terrible start there. Yeah. Did the did the did. The, did the Red Bulls as Vinci gets a three second time penalty already? We haven't even completed lap number one. So, lap number one is officially completed, and we got 34 laps remaining. DRC Jared sets the pace already. Uh, timing glitch to Ryan down the inside of Jamie. Jamie gives him the room. Good racing there, but. Ryan did try to come back, but no, he's holding on station. Jared is actually leading this race, not New Zealand Ryan, so I do apologise about that. It's just a code masters thing. Yep. And Jamie falling a bit behind uh, New Zealand Ryan at the moment. Actually, now it's just updated, so luckily. So Jamie, the only one on the soft compound tyres. I think he only did one lap in qualifying, I do believe. It's all yellow, yeah. so the sector is Calbo. It's Calbo, he's gone for a spin and he's at front wing loss. It's never a good sign. <sighs> so now he needs a safety car to help him out. As Oxygen Thief has been hounded by X to a 419X, Oxygen Thief just let him go through quicker tyre, but Oxygen Thief needs to stay within that DRS zone. As now New Zealand Ryan and DRC Jared, it's round two. The battle is on. As Ryan sets the pace with a 17.904 on those medium compound tyres. Warden overtakes Jamie for P3. It's the medium starting to affect a little bit. Ambrose left the session. I'll pick up a bit Ambrose has left the session. Hopefully, someone can. Getting back in quick smart as Edge has overtaken Broken Reptile. Bazooka right there as well. Just hope hopefully someone can get Ambrose into the into the it's lobby as Jamie bike. gets a three second time penalty. I think Ryan went so far out wide and got second. up into yeah. P2. Yeah, DT gets a three second time penalty. So Warden 99 up into P2 here, ladies and gentlemen. This could get nice. interesting. Oh, the gap in front of Jared in front of two, two seconds now. So now Warden P2, but everybody got relatively, relatively through Cleveland that one, which I'm so shocked about. Many people obviously had terrible starts. Red Bulls had terrible starts. They both Alpha Tauri's had terrible starts as Ambrose now will be joined. But Jared, nice yeah, he's at two point one second gap. Oh no, four. He's pretty much at the back, so Ambrose should be okay. 
Here we go. To regain his, his card. In the P4 he goes. I think. Maybe. Ooh, a little bit of thing here, wheels. It's Mitch in Savory going side by side at turn one here, ladies and gentlemen. Something's happened with Oxygen. Oh, there's Oxygen Thief right there. Savory down the inside. Around the outside, I should say. And he gets the move done up into P8. So, Savory and Dill trying to make up for some lost ground. But Oxygen Thief on these mediums as Jamie and Formula is hit each other. Formula goes for a half spin and holds on. Edge just had a spin. Probably losing some front wing, I'm presuming. Double check. Uh, yes, he does. Yes, he has. Yep. Yeah, Edge has some front wing damage. Nice to know that the uh, Codemaster still has some fixed the timing glitch. So, fantastic as per usual. So, the soft runners looking like their tyres might be dying just a little bit. Mm. But Dill certainly making them work. Fix Jamie's stuff up now. Hopefully, when we get back going again, there we go. Yeah, there we go. It's Ryan's looking for a move on to Warden, but nice DRS pass from this other right, and he'll get DRS on this straight as well to help him pull away. But there's Hugo right there as well. As Ryan locks up heavily, his edges into lane. Poms and Matt going side by side here. Who's got the better drive? I think Poms does. There is Matt. And Poms breaks late. Matt looking for the switchback of dreams. No, cannot happen. And Poms on those hard compound tyres is up in the P12. After starting at the back, moving up six spots. His next victim is DT. And he's on the softs. Same with Mitch. So keep an eye on Poms here. He might be in the top 10. Pretty soon, one will think as Savory is sort of in no, in the middle of no man's land at the moment, but he <sighs> needs to get within that one second barrier of X Steel to get that DRS. As Jamie gets a three second time penalty, and that will not help him out at all. Savory's caught up to the back of X Steel here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Just not as that as well. If we get DRS as well, so if you just see what happens here. There's DT's actually into the lane. You have like sector three. It's Pom! Pom's Pom's oh, has... no. He looks like he's still got some front wing on him, but we don't know if that's actually um like lime green as it is. Like cosmetic. So yeah. Poms is down in the P14. Uh, the one saving grace is that he's on the hard, so he can go a lot longer than everyone else. Yeah. But that won't help him out one single biz. Brazuka's back up at the P11. But we'll yeah. keep an eye on that. Savory is hanging on to x -Deal, but this is probably the worst part to be... Uh, or the worst part to be right behind somebody with the dirty air effect. Yeah, it's not ideal to say the least. It's, um, I don't know if the extra broken reptile have made their way to the plane. They've, they've chosen mediums and hards respectively, and they're 15th and 16th. Yeah, it's, I don't know whether Pops has done that himself or what. Got tangled up with someone. Else. But yeah, it's good. But maybe help him out here, but yeah, difficult for, for Pops. Might not be out of question. A few guys at the front here might continue battling as Mitchie's now into the lane. And Savory's got past x -Deal, so Savory looking a bit pacey here tonight. Yeah, but Matt, I saw a side here as well. He's trying to recover ground he lost during his little uh, lag out, we're going to say. Yeah. Ryan, three second time penalty. That's critical. That's interesting. Now, the top five are all on mediums. Who's going to be the first one to blink? It's going to have to be probably one of the, I don't know about Jared at the front, but I'd say it's probably be one of the guys from second in the feet at the moment. It's just both, well, Ryan, Warden, and Hugo are pretty much close to each other, and uh, Foss Formula and Jared are all out on their own here at the moment in their respective P1 and P5, so. I dare say be one of the 
the second fourth, maybe even that old like formula, maybe driving up for a bit of an undercut, but they can push a little bit longer on the tyres. As Jamie is finally into the pits, and same with Exodil, so Savory staying out that one extra lap. Yeah. Double, double stacking down at Red Bull, that's for sure. Also, Ross, your mic is cutting in and out a little bit too. I just thought I'd, I, I'd say that to you. People have been asking about your mic. So yeah, well, it's, it's, it's the same for you, Pricey. You're sort of doing the same thing for me, so I don't know. Uh, might be an Xbox thing then, potentially. Who knows? Um, yeah, so Poms is back up in the P11. Not a bad recovery. I know cars have had uh, made their stops, but... Is just a place outside the points. So, who doesn't want a safety car right now? I'm assuming the people from the mediums. I mean, they could do it. If they, as I say, safety car came out, they could still do mediums to half, but it's a. Uh, yeah, I definitely be wanting one this early. On in their stints, but any guy like Savory would probably mind the safety car. He's now the final on the soft compound of tyres oh into the lane. God, Hugo, thank God. He, he locked up a little bit, didn't hit the back of water, and Savory is now in. Oxygen Thief is up in the P6 here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the other like Sector 2, it's Calvo. I think he might have had a coming together with Edge, potentially. So it would have been would be interesting to see if a safety car came out there. Poms is up in, into the points now. So fair recovery at the moment, but he's still under six seconds behind Matt, and he was battling the likes of Matt, Ambrose, and Brazuka as well. They're not far off uh, auction of feet as well. Here you go, three second time penalty. So that's another interesting, interesting note to look out for. Come the end of the race, Ryan's got a penalty. Hugo's got a penalty. Yep. Jared hasn't got anything, and neither has Water. At this stage, the gap's starting to actually go out of it. Four, it was nearly four and a half seconds at one point. I was going to say, why hasn't Hugo opened up DRS? But he has now. So let's actually have a look at ERS's use. So Jared's only got, Jared's got a lot of ERS. He's over 70%. Ryan's low is just over, he's just under 20%. Warden's about 30. Here goes 60. Formula is about 30. Oxygen Thief is 30. Bazooka about 20. Ambrose about 60. Matt has 100% ERS. So, why isn't he not using it? I have no idea. And Poms has about 40, about 35 to 40% range. Jamie, 30. Savory, 27. Dill, about 10. DT, 60. Mitchie, 73. Broker Reptile, 64. Edge, about 40. And Calvo has 30. As Matt gets a three second time penalty. I think that's his second one, I do believe. Yes, I so, think so a bit of a low at the moment, it's pretty much a DRS train at the moment. We're just waiting to see who's gonna who's gonna make who's gonna be the first one to blink. I mean the mediums are gonna go a lot a, a long way anyway. Mm -hmm. When do you think that might be? About lap 15, 16? Or even half race distance? Yeah. About 18? Yeah, about around there. I'd be surprised if you guys maybe go early ish. To say the least, but yeah, I said it'd probably go around that, yeah, around like maybe 14 and 15 onwards. Maybe the latest you could go, maybe it depends on how good your medium tyres are after the stints. Lap 20 could be uh, an option. Could try going longer, but I guess say your tyre work would not be looking flash after that for sure. Yeah. Ryan and Warden have been locking up a little bit on this lap, but I've just been on board with Warden. And both Ryan and Warden have lock, been locking up just a little bit. The other like second three is Calvo's out. Oh, this might be a safety car, maybe. It's 
Nothing's out yet. It's a fairly good crash there for Galvo. And nothing is coming out of the way. It would have come out by now. No, nah, it's just gone away. So it's just a yellow flag here, ladies and gentlemen. So no safety car yet as Ryan's in. I think he was expecting a safety car. Maybe he was just trying a very early undercut here. Try and gain back some margin on Jarrett. Well, where's this going to put Ryan? There's Oxygen Thief with Bazooka and Ambrose. I think Ryan's going to be going to get behind Ambrose potentially. Close. Here they come. Oh my God! Oxygen Thief and Ryan has hit each other. And Oxygen Thief has some front wing. Yep. That was. Oh no! I think that might have been from Brazuka, that one. I think it just caught back in. I think it was from Brazuka who got the front wing damage, so. Oh, what's it after the swap? Oxygen Thief. Let's have a look. Ambrose. Ah, uh, it, it is Oxygen Thief. He does. He's missing an M play. Yep. The right hand side. That's gonna maybe cause some controversy. Oh my but god, then. There's nearly lost. They're coming out of the chicane there. Oh, that's. That is really, really. Oh. That's put Oxygen Thief on the back foot for the rest. Probably for the rest of this race, unless a safety car does come out and helps him out. But nothing yet. As Jared is still going. Warden and Hugo are still battling out for P1. Warden oh. gets squirmy! And Hugo says, thank you very much. I will take P2s. Hugo locks up massively. So now Hugo starts to feel the effects of locking up a lot as well. Oh. Going a little bit deep there, but um, yeah, must have just got on the pound a little bit too early there, did Warden. But um, I think he was going to be in a little bit of trouble anyway, considering he's got, got no DRS. Obviously, considering Ryan was in front of him, now he's pitted, so I probably would have helped him. But uh, now yeah, it's been made a lot easier now, and he goes, you know, starting to pull away, getting it about the one second. Okay, then he should be okay with DRS. Uh, uh, not getting DRS. Uh, Warden not getting DRS, I should say. That was nice English. <laughs> I do believe if Jab were the pit now, he, he will come out ahead of New Zealand. He's in. He's in. Alright, so Jared is in. What does Hugo do then? And Warden do? Hugo comes in, a very late call, and Warden's gonna very stay late. out and take the lead of Warden's gonna take the lead of this race. Oh it's DT. DT's had a spin. Now last night I did a commentator's job at Belgium and a safety guard came out due to some spinning. So don't be surprised if that's going to happen here tonight. Is Hugo getting in front of Ryan? No. But Jerry does come out ahead of New Zealand Ryan. So the overcut has worked for DRC Jared. Yeah, for the time being. And uh, there's only two, I think, as well. Last season, I think it was. Do you remember when I think it was Richie had that brand crash that just broke his front wing and that just randomly brought out the safety guard? Do you remember that? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, I, I do. That was a great game, F1 2019, where Mitchie yes. just spun it. And didn't even lose his front wing. I don't think he lose, lost his front wing. I think he just spun and the safety car just came out. Yeah, very random, I, to say the least. Yeah, I do remember um, Benny. He was in the prime position to get a podium. And he had no penalties, and then I think he hit the curb, or someone just tapped his rear a little bit and spun him. He got like sector two, it's one of the Red Bulls, it's X still. Deals around him. Oh, oh, wow. No safety car yet. Yeah, Dill's got no front wing, and he's on the hards as well. Oh, dear. Hopefully, the drivers have picked the harder compound so they have an extra set of hards to go to the end. Yes, yeah, but as the one-stop strategy is now open for the medium-time runners, so Ryan has caught some some time back. It was what four and a half. It's now two point nine, so nearly two seconds. Yeah, back a little bit of time. Yeah, it's difficult. That's the Red Bull 
Well, deal, I'm gonna. It's just running wide. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was deal. Mm, this is gonna be interesting now to see when Water and the Lost Formula come in. Yes, but, um, to see this battle here between the two Williams and Savory Mids Pie. This is an interesting battle here. And it's all for P9 at the moment. As oh, Matt gets a bit slidey, Savory. Oh, I thought he was going to look for a move. Jamie! It's difficult to pass there. Because on fresh and mediums, and same with Jamie. He nearly loses the back end. So they'll be well, a lot quicker than Matt hard. in the front there. Yeah, well, I was going to say, Jamie's on hard, and Matt's on. Uh, Savory is on mediums. So Matt uh, Savory, obviously the quicker driver. Jared sets the pace with a 17-3. Trying to break the suit stream. Formula's in. Big lock up from uh, Savory with Pi. Ambrose is in as well and getting off those hards. Matt goes so far out wide. I think he's trying to let Savory through as Matt is now coming in. This yellow flag, it's a red ball, I think, that's potentially X deal. It is. Are we going to see a safety car? No, he is going. Here comes Jamie. Looking for a move down the inside. He, I think he's got it. He has. I think he's got there. it. Oh, he's switch oh, back. Savory. Oh, around the outside, thank God for ghosting. Oh, this is a great battle for P8 and 9 at the moment. Jared is 10 seconds behind Warden. You have like Sector 2, I think it's x -Dil. yes it is. Just letting the leader go not through, sure. I think. Not well, technical race leader is Warden now in the lane as we speak. Okay, so I'm surprised that Dill stayed out and not come in as Jamie gets onto the grass there. Yeah, he's got massive damage on the front. He's got no end plate on it, so uh, yeah, he's struggling a bit. Bit of lag there, red Xing on my screen. Not sure about you. Hopefully, it's all good for now. And Spazuka is into the lane. He's had a very, very quiet opening stint, has Brazuka. Just, just hanging out and still finally in. <laughs> Get the front wing changed. It's onto the hearts. Goes Brazuka. Yellows. Oh, it's the other it's Savory. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's not coming. I mean, as well. So, this is just comprehend. And he, <laughs> Disaster for Red Bull now. He has to do the entire lap with a broken front wing. Yeah. And that middle sector is going to be something else. As well, it's lost a lot of time. To Hugo and his other line, I've just known it's the gap is at four and a half. And Hugo, Hugo, he's hit the, he's hit the fence. Oh wow! How hasn't he got any front wing damage from that? That All was right. a big, big crash. Yeah, I've got no idea if he's only got lime green or something. If he's even avoided the wall, I'd be, I'd be very surprised. But well, that margin is now. Now got on now between he and Ward, and of course, Ward did stay out the couple of laps longer. But these guys are closing it to the last tail end, happy there. Because they should be closing it on these guys in front on the much fresher hard compound ties. Oh, wow. So I was, just, I was just looking at the chat at the moment. Um. Uh, Oxygen Thief is still in P40. He's hunting down. Is that match 039 at the moment? So we'll give some Oxygen Thief some screen time. As Savory is now into the lane. I think X still might have had some more front wing damage potentially. Yep, both the Red Bulls are in. So I think he's just going to slowly just give him enough time to do the double stack. So. I'm surprised we haven't seen the safety car considering what action we've, we've had so far. Yeah. Uh, we've only had the one retirement, which was Calibre. That was a big crash. Surprised no safety car came out for that as well. As Oxygen Thief has made the move on. Is that Matt? Oh, Matt getting a bit oversteering. And Oxygen Thief is. Oh. oh. Luckily, Very Matt nice. backs it. Oxygen Thief goes up in a P12 here, ladies and gentlemen. He's a couple of positions outside the points, but he does have a little bit of pace about him. 
And Reptile's on 11 lap old hard, so watch out for that battle for P11 and 12 at the moment as x gets a three second time penalty. And the close battle, we've got to keep an eye on it. Rizuko closing in on uh, Ambrose to eighth. Just having a long look at the times with Hugo and Ryan. Hugo's brought that gap down by a second. It was 3.1, it is now 2.1. It's 2.0 right now, so it's under two seconds. So don't forget, Ryan does have a three second time penalty. Yep. And I believe Hugo has one as well. So if Warden can play his cards right, he could get P2 in this race. Uh, Hugo gets another penalty. Yep. That's not going to help his cause. This rate, he won't even pop. I don't even this rate. Uh, this rate, yeah. I, I must start in P4 for this rate, maybe, but it's not I was forming his pace. Looking for water there in the Renault, looking for uh, another podium. This. This is going to get interesting come the end of the race, and if we get a late safety car as well... Oh, yeah. I think hands will be thrown in the air. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Oxygen Thief and Matt are getting it again for 12 to 13. Don't want to be passing here, Oxygen Thief, let me tell you. Now you want that DRS. Oh, you're back to sector it. 2. I think that was DT. Yeah, it was, no, it was DT. DT had a bit of a bit of a moment. He's still got front wing, so that's what counts at the moment. Oxygen V looking to move on to Matt. No, we just ran out of out of straight. What turns through? I think it's turn three coming up. Bit of weaving going on between these two. He just battle oh, for position. There's a contact! Oh, oh, wow. oh, side by side there. Never, ever, ever works. And Ed just says thank you for P14 and Auction Thief. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Once again, has to come in for another, for another front wing change. Oh, that was going to end in tears, and yep. it actually has. Yep, and I put it slam up. Oxygen Thief. And Brazuki just chilling behind Ambrose. I'm thinking he knows Ambrose does have a penalty. Don't think Brazuka has that, and we've got a few people watching. So, welcome everybody. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic Monday evening or Monday day, wherever you may be in the world. Yes. As Pom's for the win 70 P6. On 20 lap, oh, as Savory oh. has retired. Oh, out. It's, like the, oh, it's a BSC. It's a BSC. I want to cut your hops up a little bit. Oh, just imagine if that was a big boy safety car. So, nobody really taking advantage of it. Oh, Warden is actually. Is he? Oh, yes, he is. Let's see that now. Why not? Uh, it, that was it, feet, obviously, I uh, wouldn't be surprised about your pumps. This, oh, never mind, you might not take nah. advantage of it. The yeah, like sector, I think it's just, I think that might have been Edge. Oh, uh, it deals out. Or not. Oh, well, okay. Is that going to bring out the big boy safety car? No, it's a bit far off the track. No, the, how long no. it's taking. Alright, so no big boy safety car as yet. So we've had a virtual, so I've always said, but always bank on a safety car in this league. His edge is right behind, is that Matt 039 for P12 at the moment. And Brazuka and Ambrose are going, still going at it for P89. You have like sector three, I think it's just DT letting drivers through. Yeah, second and third place. I oh, think we're in the lot here next, Lee. They might have covered by sides through there. I don't always be surprised. 
I was gonna say, it might be a smart play just to get out of the leader's way. Uh, yeah, that as well. Got lots of soft. I mean, what's that? 13 laps? I think I, I think for a soft can go that long, potentially. Maybe. I don't think so. Uh, it's a tough ask. Really, it probably has to another set of soft. I have no idea where the hell it was going. He was on the grass. All right, so for round P8. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, we're on round number 77 between Ambrose and Brazuka at the moment. Edge is out into VSC. Uh, Bring out the big boy safety car. Reptile's in. He's, he's going to take advantage of this. Matt gets a five second penalty. Uh, so that's our second VSC. Bring out the big boy. We want. A big boy safety car here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Spice this race up, Code Masters. <laughs> bring it to the side. My lap does not want to be playing this race. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't think we've had an RRL race where we haven't had a big boy safety car. No. In, in the There's two seasons that we've... Yeah, Somewhere. I was just going to say, in in the two seasons, I don't think we have had a race where we're having a big boy safety car. Yeah. We've, I think we've had at least one in every race in our two seasons, potentially. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. Do let us know, but pretty sure we've had at least one safety car in every single race in the yeah, two always, seasons that we've had. Safety car somewhere on the line. I mean, the other one where we didn't have one, it was a pretty boring race right China, for example. I'm pretty sure we had a safety car China. No, I mean, last season. Oh, it might have been a. Oh, uh, yeah, potentially. Well, this is the closest battle on track at the moment between SBR Ambrose 4 and Brazuka 82. As Matt gets another time penalty, expect him to be crashing out anytime soon. We have a, what's that, 12 racing laps, 11 racing laps to go. As Jared starts lap 25 of 35. Still plenty of time for a safety car and not just a VSC. Matt sets the fast lap, but he's in P13, but he will not be getting that extra point. As oh, yet. Oh my god, he went for a big dive from there. It failed, mid Jubilee. Wardens on mediums. 16770 here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute Slicing. scenes. Just closing on that alpha remote. Very lost former, so. P4 looking, mate, looking good in the bag. I don't know. I think he's got any penalty he's got on his formula, so... Well, speaking of which, we'll go back on to our race leader. Uh, DRC Jarrett has one warning. New Zealand Ryan has a penalty and two warnings. So, he's on the brink of another penalty. Uh, Hugo has a penal uh, two penalties and a warning. Oz Formula has invalidated lap time, so I think that might be a five second penalty, if I'm not mistaken. Warden has no, one warning. I think he got three second, got three second time per minute, but uh, yeah. Uh, as Poms got one penalty, one warning. Jamie has two penalties. Ambrose has two warnings, so he's on the brink. Brazuka has one, two, three penalties. Mitchie has two, two penalties. Reptile has two warnings. DT has one, two, three, four penalties. Matt has two, three, three penalties. Oxygen Thief has a two penalties. And that is it because Edge has retired. As Poms for the A70 is into the lane here, ladies and gentlemen. He's down in P10, 
So he's that he's he's overcutted Reptile, DT, Matt, and Oxygen Thief, as those are the only four behind him because everyone else is out. Yep. So Poms is going to get a point here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's on track. Maybe. He's, it could be more if he closes the gap. It's a bit in front. He's on obviously 18 lap of hearts. Nearly 11 seconds. It'd be a bit stretch, I think, to get 7th or 8th. Anyway, less than 2. Those two keep battling, both Ambrose and Brazuka. Well, Ambrose and Brazuka catching up to Jamie at the moment. There's a car ahead in that oh, yeah. Williams. And Warden is slowly catching up. He's, he's caught up to uh, Oz Formula. Down Not the pit straight. Here. Round the outside. There is Oz Formula. Oz Formula down the inside. Oh, a bit of contact. Formula trying to... Oh, water down the inside, bit of contact. Car, contact. And Oz Formula does have front wing damage. Hugo, Hugo's right behind New Zealand Ryan at the moment. Matt and DT are, are going at it. There's, now there's battle, battling, or battles are starting to pick up here, ladies and gentlemen. Lap 27 of 35, nine racing laps to go. I think that's my mass, right? Yeah, nine. Nine laps to go, so we're into the single digits here, ladies and gentlemen. Still enough time for a big boy safety car to appear. As Poms is right behind Mitchie for P9. Let's give a little go here. Yeah, Mitchie's just letting me go. So Poms has got two championship points at the moment. Twelve and a half seconds behind Brazuka. Oh, it's gonna be a tough ass as Formula is into the lane. Yeah, no surprise there. Probably what well, I'm hoping a safety car comes out and just helps it helps him out and bunch up the pack once again. Could have tried. Hugo gets another time penalty, so I don't think he's finishing second. I believe that's nine for Alan Hugo. Something he's got like nine that. seconds of penalties. Ryan's on the brink of a nut of a second penalty. Can Poms get Oz Formula? I'm watching the minimap. I think Poms, there is Oz Formula. Poms are on the outside. No, Formula nah. just stays ahead of Oz Formula. So Poms can use Oz Formula to catch back up to Brazuka and Ambrose, who are both under a second of Jamie JW21 at the moment. Poms gets another time penalty. Oh, that's not going to help his cause. This Mitchie spent 20 laps on those hards. <laughs> that was a very good job there, Mitchie. A, a comfortable gap to the Broken Reptile behind for the single point. Both Ambrose and uh, Brazuka close to oh, Jamie because eight, nine laps difference on tyre wear, so really close in here. Both will have DRS. I think Brazuka has the most penalties out of the two, so yeah. he needs to overtake these two very quickly. He's not in the slipstream of Ambrose. I think Ambrose is in the slipstream, but can't make a move just yet. Oh, Jamie Weaving to the side of the track, gets there weirdly, but it's still ahead of Ambrose. Hugo still right behind New Zealand Ryan here, coming towards the final part of the circuit. I think the lap cars are DT, Matt, and Oxygen Thief behind them. As Jared's pulled out an 8.8 .8 second gap. Lap 30 or 35, six laps to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Still enough time for a safety car, but if one if one was to come out, it has to come out pretty, pretty soon. Yeah. We've had two VSCs, no big boy safety car yet, so this could be some sort of a record for RRL not having a singular big boy safety car in a race. Now that I said that, one's going to come out very, very soon. And look at Ambrose, he's closing it here on Jamie Finn. Oh, oh my God. contact! 
and then Bruce has front wing damage. Wow, I just caught, I literally just caught the end of that. And oh, people like to weave on straights. Mm, there might be some stewards inquiries at the end of this race. Maybe, yeah. That was, that was almost, um, uh, who was, I think it was Perez last night. Oh, look oh, at this, Ambrose. Trying to look for a move. He's trying, he's trying. It's not used the passing spot. Oh my god, side by side. And <laughs> Brazuka has front row That's tickets deep. for this. These yep. two are going to cause an almighty crash. That 31 of 35. I'm thinking a big boy safety car is not going to come out here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So, as Hugo and Ryan are trading places at the moment, this is an yeah, enthralling it's battle. Well. It's P5, 6, and 7. Oh. These, these three have been battling for the better part of about 10 laps here. Maybe even longer. And not formless. Call back up to these, these three. Okay, here we go again. Oh, he started way too deep. Oh, and Brazuka cannot find a way to get past these two. Formula. Everything. <laughs> these two are just holding up Brazuka. Brazuka really, really getting frustrated. Like That's the moment. Formula back into this battle. We can see what's happening in front of him. E exactly. That's. Literally what I just said, Formula's caught back up those 12 seconds, pretty much. And Pons is about 3 seconds behind Formula. Matt gets a 3 second time penalty, but he's down in P13. Still behind DT at the moment. Ambrose still is still out there with a broken wing. I'm surprised he's still... I mean, it is fairly late into the race. That 32 of 35 here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Gotta try and stick it out these last few laps. We are on the inside. Oh, former out of, from out of nowhere, he's up in the P70. And Ambrose is minute. locking up like no tomorrow. He's struggling with straight line speed. It's Garris is helping. Just he's not gaining, not gaining. He's not in overtake mode. So that's probably the reason why. Oh, and more oh, weak damage more from contact. Hensky. Well, Ambrose, I should say, oh wow, this has just come alive. Penske to the inside. The right pen. Oh, the oh, first hit in color. He goes Formula, Penske around the outside. They see three seconds on Pelly, and Jamie's lost out to Formula. Penske is lost at the Formula as well. After all that, he's stayed in P6. And Formula is back up in the P5. What a recovery drive from Moss Formula. And Penske now being the big bus now. Oh, and this Jamie is not a passing spot. This is going to end in a wall, careful. The grass. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, lockups everywhere. And the people are coming back in to watch this fantastic battle between Ambrose, Jamie and Brazuka. The battle between second and third, it's, it's still going on, but this is really, really enthralling at the moment. Look out, look oh out. Oh my god! Oh, that badly. He's out, Ambrose. Oh, wow. And Brazuka, oh, they got past Jamie. There is Pomps from the A70. I might be thinking... <laughs> Definitely oh Stewart's inquiries are going to be happening after the race, ladies and gentlemen. Chat, it, chat is going to be blowing up after this race, at least for sure. Oh, wow. I cannot then, wait. There's going to be a few heated words. Uh, I'll say <laughs> that, but... Um, got focus back on the racing road. Charles Edmonds at the point. And Pomps might have a chance of getting set in its place. Oh, this maybe even six. Yeah, I'm oh Jamie red exiting at the moment. Bit of lag is happening on Jamie's part at the moment. Oh, wow, we Jamie three seconds time penalty. That's not going to help his cause. Uh, you have like sector uh, one, I think. 
That was, that was water? No, reptile, reptile just went. Uh, uh, Ryan and Hugo go by. Wowzers. It's Jamie's fallen bit behind Bazooka at the moment. So Poms is has he's got the RS DT three second time penalty. I think the top at uh, the bottom four from tenth downwards has all been lapped. Here goes another three second time penalty. He's uh, he might just get P3 if if Water does have any penalties, but I think he does. Oxygen thief for the gear out of it. Yeah, I've been yeah it's keeping you on the belt for seconds. Need to tell you, Brian. He goes to trying to get stuck, and then it's pretty much all in vain because of the penalty situation, of course. Try to send one. Oh, that was close. So I was just watching the Palms Jamie battle as well. Yeah. Hugo doing a little bit of a weave. Probably not too happy about that up back sector two. I think it's just Matt letting the racing point through. Uh, this is the battle that we want. It's one and a half seconds between Bazooka and Jamie. So Jamie does not have DRS for now. Because he goes a bit wide. We're on the last into lap the as well, by the way. Yeah, uh, I just noticed that we are on the last lap here, ladies and gentlemen. Where is the RC Joe? Oh my god, he's, he's at the end of the track! <laughs> yeah, well, Matt's got the punch out uh, front punch as well, by the way, but here comes Jared, he's he dominant as he gets another time penalty. So DRC Jared takes pole position and a very dominant race. This brings him back into the championship and wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. New Zealand Ryan will come into P number two, so points have been gained by DRC Jared Hugo, P3, but we don't know if Water is going to get that P3. He's Wait, coming so around the eight. final corner right now. He'll be trying everything to get P3. He, he gets does. it by three tenths of a second. Oz Formula, I think Reptile will get the last point. He's got a puncture as well. DT gets P11. Formula gets P5, I do believe. Unless Bazooka has less penalties than Formula. Mitchie, another time penalty. Formula P5, Bazooka. P6, Jamie, P7, Poms gets P7, Jamie gets P8. Mitchie will get P9. And Reptile gets P10, DT, P11, Oxygen Thief will get P12, and Matt will get P13. Credit to wow. Vibe, Mr. Jamie, getting 27, 28 laps of hearts. Yeah, fair play. New Zealand Ryan, the next best, the third best as well, with 23. But wow, we, what a race here, ladies and gentlemen. What a race. GRC Jared gets back into this championship hunt. Poms to an A70 gets Codemasters as driver of the day. Let us know who was your man for driver of the day. But, wow. The the action really picked up towards the end there. We yep. completely forgot it was the last lap. Well, I completely forgot it was the last lap. Trying to get onto DRC Jared. And he was at the back end of the circuit. Nearly at the final corner. <laughs> Just enthralled by that Penske, Jamie, and uh, Brazooka battle. Then Formula joined the party. Then Formula got past all three of them. And then Penske and Jamie kept going. But, <laughs> oh, wowzers. So here is your running race order. We got DRC Jared taking the win from pole position. We got New Zealand, New Zealand Ryan in P2, Warden P3. So fantastic result for, P, uh, for Warden. Hugo gets P4, Formula P5, Bazooka P6, Palms 2870s in P7, Jamie in P8, Mitchie P9, and Reptile gets P10. That's on the 10 with DT, Oxygen Thief, Is That Matt, and the DNFs are Ambrose, Ed, Savory Mince Pie, x Dill, and Calvo Oz. And we just made history. We haven't had a big boy safety car probably for the first time 
ever. In a fair we've while. Had two vir- we've had two virtuals, but no big boy safety car. No. The actual scenes here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wow, Ross, <laughs> what is your thoughts about that race? Um, yeah, certainly entertaining, to say the least. It has not gone <laughs> fully off as of yet, but um, I think there's a few apologies around there as well. So, um, very, very entertaining all round, to say the least. But um, we do may as well just get on with the driver today. I think... We might as well give it the bombs. Uh, mate, and I think from coming last up to, what was a P7 in the end, it was a very, very good drive from the racing port driver. So I think, it, I think it's pop, like what Coke must have said, Pom's hands down driver of the day for me. What about you, Frizy? Same? Different? Uh, I, I'm going to I'm gonna say this man that I have highlighted on screen. I'm going to say DRC Jared. Um, I'm going to be the F1... You know, people that decide who gets driver today <laughs> and just pick yeah, Lewis enough. Hamilton every, every time when he dominates a race. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 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 I'm going to say DRC Jared uh, for my driver today, man, just blitzed the field. Ryan just couldn't keep up with him. So, this is the sort of race DRC Jared needed to get back in into the championship hunt. Yes, absolutely. He needed this. For sure. So that is it from myself and VSR Roscoe on for the Monday League. Uh, next week we are at Belgium in Spa. Mm. Wow. That I I mean the next couple of races are gonna be very, very interesting, I must say. We got Belgium next week, then we have a week break, and we come back to Monza. Oh, yeah, so... true. I forgot about Monza. Sorry about that. Well, I was just going to think we were going to Singapore. But, um, yeah. Belgium <laughs> yeah, next Singapore week could throw up uh, plenty of anything, really. Could be completely dry. Could be wet. Could be wet dry. You never know. So we shall see, I suppose. It It's going to be something indeed. Um, as, as I said on the Saturday, Mitchie will hopefully be back commentating on the Saturday League. Oh, excuse me. With within the next month, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I will leave the settings at the end of the video. If Matt does them, I will be hounding. Is that Matt 039 to do the standings for you, lovely people, so you can see the championship standings. Yep. Um. But yes, it is goodbye from myself and Roscoe. We'll see you at Belgium. I'm probably gonna be commentating this race again on Saturday. So please tune in on Saturday for the Saturday League. We're here at Hungary again. Um, Thank you everybody that has tuned in tonight and followed us and chatted along with us. It's been a pleasure. And until next week, it is goodbye. And we'll see you at Belgium for the Monday League. See ya. Bye.